Hi guys, John coming sits outdoors. We just did the video with pitch glue. Now we're going to do hide glue. Um, easiest way if you want to try this at home, learn how to make it, make something to take with you, whatever, get the rawhide dog chews. Let me turn the camera down. Okay, so all I've done, and you can do this while they're still dry, cut them into strips, drop one on the floor, okay, and then just take a good knife and start shaving off little slivers. Quick, quick safety tip, my first couple slices, I put an angle on it, so when I'm holding this against the board and cutting, I'm cutting away from my fingers. If I'm going straight down, I'm risking cutting myself every time. So culinary world, that'd be cutting it on the bias. Anyhow, I've already cut those, so we're not going to get bored with me chopping those for a long time. They do cut easier if you soak them in water, but they work just fine if you don't. The one of the things about doing this video, even though it's been done and done and done, is nobody ever says how much to use. So I have one full cup of packed rawhide shavings, broke down nice and small. From what I've learned, you want a two to one ratio. So one cup of rawhide, two cups of water. Put two cups of water in your container. This is just an old coffee can. I've bent it to have a little spout, flat spot on the back so I can grab it with pliers if it's too hot. Um, put in your two cups of water. Put it over a heat source. Bring that water up to a boil and then turn it down to where it's just rolling. You can see the water moving but it's not bubbling and boiling. You're just turning and rolling over. Okay, so you got your water right. Pour in your cup of rawhide. An hour and a half. Stir occasionally, but about an hour and a half you should have what you want. And a good way to tell, I've already done this for an hour and a half, so good way to tell is your stir stick will start getting really sticky. You can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the, it's really sticky already. So, and, and back to the, nobody, nobody tells you exactly how much to use. If you put in a cup of rawhide and three cups of water instead of two, it could take you three hours to get this right. Because it has to boil down to the right consistency and, and, and get the water out. It's evaporating the water out and drawing out of the, the hide to come up with that consistency. So the next thing, just a tip, the ones I've seen where people were making hide glue, whatever container they were going to put it in, you know, they'd take their bandana or t shirt and put it over that container and try to pour it out of here into that. Well, you can't see how high you can go and stuff. So, my next tip is get you an old piece of t shirt. I have a separate container, I've also put a spout on. You guys can see what I'm doing there. Okay, once I move that can, I'll slide that burner out of the way. You see what I've got in there. Okay, so like I was saying, instead of instead of putting my filter, and if you use a, a 
fairly new t-shirt, you're going to want to stretch it out as much as you can and open the pores up a little bit. That's tightly woven. <clears throat> you just pour into this. See, it's not going through. I think maybe because I break down the rawhide more than what I've seen other people do, um, and I can't pour it and not have the rawhide come out with it. Oop, just lost my filter there again. It's not draining through that shirt as good as I thought it was going to. Let me see if I can take a safety pin. Poke a few holes in there. Fairly good amount. Let me grab another piece of shirt here. Stretch that thing out as far as we can.
mess. I didn't have this problem when I did this before. Last time I did this, I must have had an older, worn out shirt as my filter. to get it all in there to show you how much it would make. But obviously this shirt is too tight. It's not letting enough of it through. But I did get some. So then all you do is now that it's in another container and it's already been strained off, I can pour it into anything I want to and see what I'm doing. Especially your Altoids tend they have a have the holes where the hinges are. If I had a shirt over that to where I can't see and I'm trying to filter into it, I'm gonna make a bigger mess than what I did. So because I've already filtered it, now I can just pour it in right to where I need to. That's as much as I can get in there without it going through those holes. And again. So there's two Altoid tins off of one cup of hide and I probably had enough in there almost to get a third one if my filter shirt would have worked correctly and I don't know if you can see from there or not but I actually got a little couple little pieces of hide into the glue So anyway, one cup of hide, two cups of water. Probably you could get a third Altoids tin full. Um, and this takes about five, ten minutes to set up. Once it's set up, it's like a jello, kind of gelatin. And it doesn't feel sticky. But once you've got it in your tin like that, you can just put it over a heat source melt it down a little bit and then dip whatever you need to glue and after you're done using it it'll set back up pretty good the other thing is, is by putting it into a different container like that you have the option to pour into something small. So if you have an old glue stick or a chapstick container, you can pour it into there once you put it into something like this. And voila. Now if, if I mess around and screw this out too far, I'll probably break off uh, and not want to go back in there but you can see it works so if I put it in something like this I could put it in a kit, a backpack or whatever take it with me I need it just hit it with a little bit of flame then I've got glue pretty good pretty good and sticky so like I said in the last video I wanted to make the pitch glue and the hide glue. I've um, been planning on doing a 
couple of videos and test them actually see how good they work we're going to fletch some arrows or something with it and put them to the test see which one works better and I wanted to wanted to actually show making them so that when I get to those videos uh, I don't have somebody hey what is that where'd you get that you say um, that's in the video before this so there's my take on hide glue guys thanks for watching sorry about my t-shirt filter fail uh, but we got it to work anyway so like comment subscribe more videos coming to you soon thanks for watching